Hey guys, today we are in Ikebukuro Station. What a beautiful day! It was raining this week. Finally, it became a sunny day. Super happy. So today we are heading to the Kawagoe, which is in the Saitama Prefecture. It's a little bit far, however, there is a beautiful shrine and also the food street. I heard Kawagoe recently it becomes super popular and there are so many travelers over there. Well, I've been there three years ago and I enjoyed the food. It was during the pandemic, so there were not that many travelers. So I believe today we can see the totally different atmosphere. So let's explore together and hopefully you feel like virtual travel to Japan through this video. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Gao. All right, so let's keep walking this way. <laughs> As you can see, in the Ikebukuro Station, since it's Saturday, there are just so many people. It's end of February. Today's temperature, 9 degrees. I think it's because of the rainy days. Yeah. Last week, it was much warmer, so yeah, today feels like a little bit cold. The red bus over there, called Ikebasu, it going around Ikebukuro, price is a little bit cheaper. It's like the Hachiko bus in Shibuya. Looks pretty cute, right? If you are heading to the Sunshine Street, which is really popular main street in Ikebukuro, you need to go east and here. This is the JR Ikebukuro station. If you are using the Yamanote line, which is the loop line in Tokyo, this is a place that you need to take the train. This is the JR train. But today, we are using the Tobu Tojo Sen, which is a different line. You see the blue sign over there? Yes, that's the line we are taking. So this is the way. There is an entrance. JR train first. And the Tobu Tojo line, you need to go deeper. And here we go. This is the entrance. So today, we are taking the express train so that it can go fast. Platform 1 and 2. This is the platform that you need to take if you are heading to Kawagoe. Oh yeah, train's already over here. Hopefully, I can find the seat because it will be the long lighter. Okay, sweet. We can see it. Goodbye, Ikebukuro. Oh, I just realized we can see the front there. It's pretty nice. And here we go, finally. Next stop. It's Kawagoe Station. Finally, we arrived to Kawagoe Station. Sweet. So, Ikebukuro Station is the most north part of Tokyo Station. It's one of the closest places to Saitama Prefecture. From there, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes by training. So, hmm, it's a little bit far, but not that bad, thinking about it's a different prefecture. So must be, this is the way. Oh my goodness, what is this fancy train? Spacia X, yeah. <laughs> this train looks like private jet. And much fancier than Shinkansen Green Seed. Hope one day I can try. So this is Kawagoe Station looks like. There is a nice roof window and it's a big station. So we are heading to Food Street and also Tokinokane. Seems like there is no English translation, but uh, in Japanese, yeah, it explained to the rider. So this is the way to go. From Ikebukuro Station to Kawagoe Station, it takes 481 Japanese yen. Oh, now I see the English translation over there with the small writing. <laughs> yeah, it says Tokinokane. <laughs> yeah, to the right. Last time when I visit here, there were many constructions. But now I believe, you know, it finished wow. because it's been three years. So I'm really excited to visit there. Here's the map. We are over here. Since 
Tobu Tojo Line is the easiest way to get over here from Ikebukuro Station. We use this Kawagoe Station. However, if you don't want to walk or if you are coming from Shinjuku, maybe you can stop at Honkawagoe Station because we are heading around here. So, it's much closer. Let me time how long it will take from here to the main street. Let's keep walking. Yep, the Kurazukuri zone, this is the zone that we are heading to. There is a sign, so it must be easier to get there. Yep, this is the way to go. We just need to keep straight. Oh, now I remember this street. Yeah, I was here. <laughs> Sweet. It's this small shopping street. There are many small shops and also the coffee shop too. <laughs> Let's go through the arcade. I thought this place would be more travelers, but uh, we haven't seen travelers much, huh? I mean foreign travelers. We can just go through this arcade. Oh my goodness, never mind. Yeah, the street is super packed. Probably they are the domestic travelers. So maybe this place is more popular for the Japanese, but uh, not that popular to the foreign travelers much, huh? As you guys know, when the street becomes super popular for foreign travelers, usually there will be many food stalls, which is very expensive one usually. But uh, this street is more like, you know, local arcade. So if you are visiting Japan and want to see the local atmosphere, but also you want to travel, this Kawagoe would be the perfect spot, huh? Look at this store. It is really traditional Japanese sleeper store. Interesting. Oh, those are the bento store, but price is really cheap. This Inarizushi. 259 Japanese yen. The, this four pieces, 199 Japanese yen. And also the road sushi, 219. Wow, that's pretty good price, huh? In front of the bento shop, there is a cute pottery shop. Pottery in Japanese called toki. Toki. So those are the toki. Japanese raccoon there. It calls Tanuki. Tanuki. In the each video, I will give you guys a small Japanese lesson too. So if you are learning Japanese, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yes, 2024 goal, hitting 200,000 subscribers. So yes, I need your help. Arigato everyone. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, that's local clothes shop for elder ladies. The last time when I see this kind of shop, it was the Sugamo Station. Yeah, that means, yes, local arcade. Oh, look at this vending machine. Interesting. They are selling this sweet potato. Price is 700 Japanese yen, also same price. They sell the miso potato. Miso potato sounds great. There is a gachapon shop. There are so many gachapon in the store, but the atmosphere it's a bit different compared to the Shibuya one though. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one called the Toki no Kane, which is the symbol of this Kawagoe area. People call this place Little Edo. We can enjoy the traditional Japan food street. Oh, McDonald's here too. And another game center. This one? Looks like the local game center. I remember my local town's game center too. Natsukashi. Oh, it's one of my favorite izakaya place, Shinjidai. They have the skewers, the chicken skin one. They have the spicy one too. The price is only one skewer, 50 Japanese yen. And the best part, the beer is 190 Japanese yen. Taste is good, price is good too. Oh, what is this shop? Oh, interesting. They are selling the Japanese box. Yeah. People can use it for sending the gift. 
or saving some stuff. And also they are selling the traditional toys. This one is the Koma. Koma. And this one called Denden Den Daiko. It's like a taiko drum. And this one is a daluma. You can just make it stand and there is a hammer and a hit from the bottom. Yeah, those are the really traditional Japanese toy. Very interesting. And here, seems like they are selling the potato stuff and also the snack. Those are the traditional rice crackers. Sweet! It's the long arcade. I believe we are almost getting closer to the Kurazukuri zone. Let's see. That's the Vietnamese food store. Four and also by me, Vietnamese sandwich and Vietnamese coffees are my favorite. I can't eat cilantro, but uh, I love Vietnamese sandwich. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this ramen. Yeah, from the appearance, I can tell it is super spicy. <laughs> Probably I will get the stomachache, so maybe next time. And it's the first intersection. Honkawagoe Station is just over there. So if you are heading to the Honkawagoe Station or Kawagoeshi Station, you will get around here. Until here, let me see how long it took. <laughs> Wait, it took 31 minutes? Really? Am I timing right? I don't know. Maybe I forgot to turn off the clock. <laughs> well, I just checked the footage and uh, yeah, the time clock was starting from zero. So that means we took 30 minutes to get here. Wow, time flies. Well, it was really interesting. So I didn't feel like it took like 30 minutes. Well, if you don't want to walk that much, definitely you'd better arrive to the Honkawagoe station. But uh, if you don't mind to walk around, and also if you love watching see the local town's atmosphere, definitely Kawagoe station would be the option too. However, it will be the long walk though. Oh, there is a cafe. Let's go check there. So, Little Edo souvenir shops? Interesting. So that's a Japanese traditional doll. Oh, and it's this souvenir. Can you take a guess what it is? Yes, it is the traditional lantern. Place the candle inside and you can hold here. <laughs> I don't think, you know, it can make it as a lantern, but uh, for the souvenir, it is popular. And uh, there is a bookmark too. Those are the small souvenirs. Kawagoe is popular for the potatoes. They sell the potato stuff. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's the potato chocolate. Interesting. 248 Japanese yen. And we can buy it separately too. Why not? Let's try this. And this is Toki no Kane Kuki. We will see the real one later. Oh, and this one is the Koedo Montblanc. Interesting. Montblanc is really popular. Chestnut sweet. Huh, I want to try this too. Price is 270 Japanese yen. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's the white strawberry. The white chocolate soaked into the strawberry. Price is 626 Japanese yen. Looks pretty good. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, I think we'd better use the back, yeah. Also, many rice crackers. Price is about 300 Japanese yen to 400 Japanese yen. <laughs> Three rice crackers, 162 Japanese yen. The Kawagoe version. Nice. <laughs> oh, this seat is available. Let's eat it here. Alright, let's eat it. Huh, which one to start? This chocolate one or Mont Blanc one and strawberry one. Yeah, I just realized all of them are sweet, so probably we'd better get the coffee. No, it's okay. Yeah, let's try one by one. So let's start from Mont Blanc one. Oh. 
I think I break it. I don't want to break it because <laughs> I want to show it how it looks like, but uh, yeah. Probably when you open it, you gotta be careful because it's easy to break. But look at that! Oh my goodness! Smells so good! Itadakimasu! Oh. It has nice chocolate and the chestnut flavor! Sweet! Mmm! Mm -hmm. And I just realized it's chestnuts inside. If you love Mobulam, mechaoshi. And the next one is potato chocolate. Chocolate. This must be good too. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. This one? Because there is a cover, so I didn't break it. This must be good too. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh. Compared to the Mont Blanc one, this one is the less sweet chocolate, but a nice chocolate flavor. I love it. Mmm. <laughs> By the way, I think because I dropped it, <laughs> there are. <laughs> Many birds are coming to my place. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. And this is the last one. I wanted to try the best. But beforehand, you know what? I found the vending machine over there. So hold on one second. Let me get that coffee. Oh. The price was regular price. Definitely. With the sweet, with the coffee, it's better. All right, so let's try with this strawberry. Oh, interesting. So it's like a dried strawberry. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This one also not the sweet, nice white chocolate flavor. But after the chocolate flavor, the strawberry sourness comes. Nice. Ah. Well, technically, we haven't reached to the main spot yet, but this place already very nice atmosphere. <laughs> By the way, did you guys realize? Yeah, my hair gets super long, so I try to do this hairstyle. How do you think the regular style is better or this one is better? Please let me know in the comment. Oh, you know what? I just realized the sign. No feeding bird. Well, I didn't mean to. Definitely, I didn't mean to. The best part, there's a trash can. So, can. Yeah, here. Sweet. Let me see what else we have. So, seems like this is the restaurants. Oh, the price is 2,400 Japanese yen for unagi and a tempura 1,500 Japanese yen. Not bad at all, huh? And it seems like this is the another souvenir shop. Oh, so this place for sake, huh? Wow, there are so many different kinds of sake. So here, we can try many kinds of sake. Place the 500 Japanese yen and you get three coins. And you can use it three different kind of sake for try. Those are the instructions. And also, in Japan, it is prohibited to drink under the age of 20. It's different compared to the American one. So, just let you guys know. 20, yeah, not the 20 one. So let's get the coins here. Place the 500 Japanese yen and get the three coins. And it seems like we can get the cup from here. There are just so many different kinds of sake. I don't know which one to try. Oh, interesting. Look at this one. It's the white wine sake. The original one here. Why not? Let's try this. So we can place it over here. 
and place the metal okay and I believe we just need to place this oh sweet it <laughs> you know three coins for 500 Japanese yen but uh, you can try it this much <laughs> well it is enough amount for try and also we can use the coins for a different way too here we can have this snack if you feel like you know one cup of sake is enough you can use other two coins for snack this time i ordered miso dengaku which is the yam with miso really popular snack with sake hi sweet let's eat over here there is a place to eat so there are two miso dengaku let me try Mm. Ah. It is warm. Perfectly matches with miso. I love the yams and the miso's combination at the best. Mm. Also, now is the time to try the original sake. Kanpai. Oh, it has nice flavor, really smooth. Since it is smooth, they don't feel like drinking alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> and it's dangerous too though, but uh, loving it. Oh, with one coins, we can try different kinds of rice cracker too. This one is the miso, and this one is the green onion. Interesting. Right, so let's keep walking. Well, the last time when I was here, I don't remember it was because of the pandemic or due to the construction, but uh, it wasn't open. So the next time when I visit Kawagoe, I wanted to try and it was really fun. So if you visit Kawagoe, don't forget to try there. Now we are heading to the main area. Probably there will be so many people and also there will be a long line in front of the street food. So I think we made a good decision to eat over there. Oh, I remember. Last time when I was here, I think this was a sweet shop, but now it seems like it became the Randzel shop, which is the school back for the elementary school kids. Yeah, it is like the tradition. Every single kid has that Randzel as a school back, and amazingly, we can use it for six years. Yes, it is really strong. Well, when I was a kid, there were only two colors, and then it decided, you know, if you are the boy, you get the black color, and if you are the girl, you get the red color. But nowadays, Randosel, they have so many different kinds of colors, and uh, yeah, I feel like <laughs> diversity. Well, you know, Japanese culture, follow what other people do because that's the way to survive in Japan. But uh, yeah, more diversity is coming to Japan too, so I think it's a good change. Yeah. I believe we are almost there. Yeah, the town atmosphere is changing. It looks like more traditional houses over there traditional stores too oh i believe this one is the traditional kimono store here and it's the first shrine this place is interesting because you know we have the massage for the food there are many people waiting for the prey <laughs> interesting there is a tried luck place first you place the money and the prey and after that you can try the wanage there is a loop and uh, you can throw it if goes inside you have the good luck and here ah oh, interesting this is a place washing the money and you have the good luck with money so <laughs> you can wash the money here i remember i think that we try in the Kyoto? I don't remember where it is though, but it was really fun. Oh, maybe it was Kamakura, but uh, here is the one too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there is a herd. All right, why not? Let's try it. 
Yeah, you know, if you have the healthier body, it doesn't feel pain that much. I'm not sure. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yes, it is painful. Well, maybe you can try it next time when you visit here. And whew. well, I think I have the healthier body, but yeah, it is painful. So maybe next time when you visit here, you can try. That's okay. Oh, I give it up. Everyone is trying, but everyone says it's super painful. It is the fun shrine. From here, it becomes the pedestrian zone. Oh, they have the street market. Maybe because it's the weekend. Oh my goodness, look at this cafe. It's super traditional style. You can enjoy the tea and also the sweets. The price is about 1,000 Japanese yen. Huh, this warabi mochi looks pretty good. Compared to the last time when I was it, yeah. Totally different. And from there, the street will start. So we arrived to the main street. Oh my goodness, this place is super crowded. But there are cars too, so it's really hard to walk. Oh my goodness, what kind of smell this is. It smells so good from front there. Probably that's the line for the food. <laughs> oh, that's the yakitori store. No wonder. It smells good. And it's super crowded. That's the kawagoe pudding. Yep. Also, long line over there. Yeah, maybe if you have the small kids, this is not really a good place to visit, especially this street. If you escape from here, I think it should be fine though. There are so many restaurants and the souvenir shops here, but everywhere it's super crowded. You know, it's Saturday, so shogunai, though. Oh, uh, and finally we found the entrance of Tokinokane, so that small street over there. That is the way to go to the Tokinokane. We need to press the button, otherwise never changes. But uh, seems like no one was pressing the button, so maybe not that many people realize. If you are the traveler, there is some traffic light. If you don't press the button, never changes. So you gotta be careful. You know, there is a sign, but probably you can't recognize or read it. So this is the way to go. Oh my goodness, yeah. I feel like, you know, fireworks Matsuri festival. Oh sweet, yes, we finally came back to the Tokinokane area. That's the one over there. This is one of the pictures part in Kawagoe. The other one is the shrine. Yeah, we are heading to the other shrine too. That place is beautiful, but this place is beautiful as well. Kane means chime in Japanese. This one is the clock with the chime, built in 1627. Yes, really traditional one. Now, let's go to the next spot, which is the Hikawa Shrine. After passing this street, the crowd will be better, I believe. No, I hope. Let's keep walking. That's the rice cracker shop too. Yeah, long line. Probably we made a really good decision that, you know, before get super crowded, we eat. After passing that street, it's much easier to walk, but uh, still, it is a really tiny pedestrian walking place, so we need to be careful to walk. Oh, seems like it became 4 p.m. There is a piece. So we are here, and the Hikawa Shrine is over here. It's almost there. Oh, look at the sky. What is that? It looks like a comet. I remember the Kimi no Nawa. 
It was a great anime. Oh, really? I think that's Sakura. It's my first Sakura that I've seen for this year. Well, I know that compared to the regular year, this year is warmer. But uh, I didn't know already Sakura is blooming. <laughs> oh, wait. You know what? I just realized that's Ume, which is a plum. <laughs> The flower shape is different. I always make the mistakes, so yeah Hopefully you don't make the mistake. Yeah, the flower is different This shape is Sakura and this shape is Ume How did they realize because there were the people walking right next to me and they were talking Oh, that's Ume not Sakura <laughs> Yeah. Well, thanks for them well, I already posted for the Instagram though, never mind. I usually place the Instagram story where I am, so if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. Here we go, finally! We arrived to the Hikawa Shrine. It's the entrance. It is one of the most popular Kawagoe picture spot too. So this place called Hitogata Nagashi, there is a doll made by paper and you place it on the pond and uh, after it passed it over there, everything, the bad thing will be gone. That's what they believe. Also, there is a huge tori gate plus the back street. It is explaining how to pray here. Two bow, two cropping hand, and one bow. Very nice street. And also, there is a windmill place as well, I remember. If they don't change it, I think that place is really beautiful. I think that was the back street. Let me see. That must be here. I believe so. Super nice atmosphere with nature. <laughs> Super crowded though. So those are the emmas, which is the people's wishes. Yeah, this is one of the picture spot for the Instagrammers. <laughs> Interesting. This one is the Aitai Mikuji, meaning wants to meet. There is a Thai fish. You can fish this pink Thai fish, and uh, there is a fortune telling inside. And here, there is a different colored one. Seems yeah. like it's really popular. Here, small Japanese restaurant. Japanese restaurant part called Thai. Thai. So they are fishing the Thai. <laughs> and here it's the sweet potato fortune telling. <laughs> Interesting. Compared to other shrines, this shrine is more entertaining, so that's why it's more popular for young adults. Especially, you know, they are fortune telling about love. Alright, so that was really fun. And it was the beautiful shrine. In front of the shrine, there is a food cart and also restroom. I believe this is the line going back to the station. There is a long line in front of the station. Yeah, that must be the bus. The way to go back? Let's take a bus. Oh my goodness, so many people. I'm wondering if we can ride it on. Well, if we have to wait for the next one, probably we'd better walk because I'm not sure when the next bus comes. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Even it's super packed, but still, we could ride on. Finally, it's the last stop, Kawagoe Station. There we go. Oh, so I see. There are bus stations over here. Speaking of the bus, it was super crowded. Cost 210 Japanese yen. Yeah, 
since it was super crowded and also the traffic it took pretty long time so yeah if you can walk probably you'd better walk otherwise you have to stay in the super crowded place for a long time and uh, you also have to pay money too <laughs> yeah it really up to you though it is just right front of the Kawagoe station let's go back to the Ikebukuro station it becomes afternoon time, feels like it's more crowded. Hopefully in the train it's not that crowded and uh, we can find a place to sit down too though. So seems like next train that we can catch is 5.08 which is about 3 minutes from now. Well, since Rabbit Express line might be crowded and also we need to change the train in the middle so maybe we'd better wait for the express one which is leaving from 5.14 yeah it is always hard to make the decision without changing the train would be much easier especially you know if we could find a seat we can constantly sit down but if we need to change the train we have to take off and we have to find the space again it really depends how crowded the train is but I assume probably the train would be super crowded so maybe we'd better wait for the express one let me see how many people would ride on the rapid express one and how crowded it is if the rapid express one is not that crowded maybe we can ride on the rapid express one here we go this is the one how is it seems like much fewer people so the rapid one would be fewer people too <laughs> let's wait oh my goodness you know my eyes are itchy and always i'm sneezing because of the allergy i need to take a medicine always this season i have a hay fever so that's why always sneezing shogarai <laughs> Yeah, seems like the express one is not that crowded neither. So hopefully this side one also not that crowded. If I can find a seat, that would be the best. How is it? How is it? How is it? Yes! It is not crowded! Yay to me! Sweet! Finally, we arrived to Ikebukuro station now since i could sit all the time so i think i made a good decision that i went for the express one it's this saturday night ikebukuro station must be super crowded probably we can't find a space in the east exit because east exit more crowded so let's go to the west exit <laughs> It's almost 6 p.m. already. Outside gets totally dark. <laughs> Let's say hello to the Ikebukuro's mascot, Ikebukuro. Yep, <laughs> that's the one. I'm not sure how many percent of Japanese recognize that this is Ikebukuro's mascot, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Ikebukuro's character, Ikebukuro. Let's go to the Westgate Park. Oh, sweet! Beautiful blue light up. What's that? There is some other light up too. Oh, sweet! That's the music light up. Beautiful. It's the music, and uh, I think that's the collab with Ikebukuro Aquarium. Sweet. All right, how was the Kawagoe? After I visit there, I realized that it is popular for domestic travelers, but not that popular for international travelers. Well, so hopefully this video gives you some inspiration for your next Japan trip and feels like virtual travel to Japan through this video. Yes, in March, I am planning to going back to Osaka and Kyoto, which is my hometown, so please look forward to it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos and more new videos are coming. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel too, so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so see you in the next video. See you in the <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.
seven degrees right now. It's pretty cold. But you know, it's February, so it's supposed to be. This week, there were just so many raining days. So finally, I could find the day to film. Hmm. You know, the weather is always important. And I don't like the rainy days because it is hard to film. And uh, you know, it's not that fun to watch the rainy days vlog, right? So I always wait for the sunny days. Well, according to the weather forecast, next week will be more sunny days and it will be warmer. You know, the February finished and the March getting warm and warm. Also, the sunset time getting late and late too. So, Sakura season and the travel season are coming. That means more travel vlogs are coming, so please look forward to it. So everyone, stay warm and please look forward to the next video. See you soon! Oh, by the way, my hair gets just too long. You know, I'm waiting going back to Osaka to cut my hair. Yeah, can't wait. You know, just too long. Oh!